Hello there Star Wars gamers, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing X3, Avion Prelude with the Star Wars mod, and are going to be buying a new ship. Um, and it's a pretty big ship, so let's get out of this sector and get to the sector we're gonna buy it in. Entering system, Argon Sector right. M148. Alright guys, we are in the sector, um, and the ship we're going to be buying is actually right there. That's not our ship, but it's the same kind, it's the same class of ship. Um, so we need to get here, or close to it at least, um, and I want to select it here so you can see it for a second. Um, the ship is a Argon. Nebula class Star Destroyer. Um, the first ship that was built our first capital ship or Star Destroyer class ship that was built by the New Republic after the um, Galactic Civil War. So let's go here and buy it all the way at the bottom here. Nebula class Star Destroyer. Buy. Alright. Um, I have been making a lot of credits and that ship was actually... Okay, don't, don't talk about it please. Alright. Um, that ship was actually to 140 million credits. So, we have about 35 million, which is correct, or that's, I had like 174 million, so it makes sense, that little bit. You are talking? I want it, oh, um, we also named the Rebel Frigate, the Retribution, taking revenge on the Imperials, I don't know why, um, I guess something happened to my character, um, and we have the Blade Squadron now, Blade 1, Blade 2, Blade 3, Blade 4, um, so yeah. Um, I have a name for this ship, which I will be telling you guys in a second. Um, yep, main console, navigation, dock at... Brilia, Let's take a look at our new ship. Here it is. It's got the nice paint job. Um, it is covered in turrets, as you can see. Or, it's not covered, but there are a lot of them. Um, if we click U, we can come down here and see all of its weapons options. Yeah. Um, let's stop right here and let it get to the equipment dock. I will be back once it is there. Oh, and another thing, guys. Um, since it would literally take me hours to fly around the entire galaxy and get enough weapons for this, I'm just going to be using the cheats to put them in, but I am going to be... It's going to be costing me. So if we look here... Um, these right and left are going, or right and left, and, um, one of these fronts, wait, can right and left do the cane in one? I don't know if they can, um, let's spawn one in, or try to spawn it in, if it works. It's here, right? Yeah. It doesn't work, dang it. But I thought I thought I checked this. I thought it worked. Those other ones. Is it? Argon. Argon. I thought I checked it and it would it was gonna work. Dang it. Okay. I guess I'll just have to use those heavier cannons. Um, okay. So that's not gonna work. What other cannons can it use? Hmm. I guess we'll just do concussion impulse generators for the right and left, and then one of the fronts here. It works everywhere, right? Um, gray, yeah, it works on all of them except the two main. Well, the two main can only be ion cannons. Wow, this ship is more limited than I thought. Okay, so since I'm not actually going to be going around, we need to see how many. Um, 24. Or so, so, okay, 20. Or we're going to need to do some calculations. So let's go to the encyclopedia, go to lasers, and then find the concussion impulse the generator. The concussion impulse generator uses advanced technology to create powerful ripples in subspace. Okay. These bursts oh boy. are strong enough to physically move objects. All right, Joanne. high energy levels can drain shielding and cause moderate structural All right. damage. Come on, Joanne. Okay. So the maximum price is almost 500,000 credits. So... Let's do some quick maths here. Pull out my calculator because I'm too lazy to do math. Um, twenty-four 
28 times 500,000. It's 10 million. 28 times 500,000. It's 14 million. Alright, so I did the maths and the how much it's going to cost is 14 million credits. So here, um, now we want to do right here. Right now, this one too. Okay. Actually, this one can be RH8. Blaster cannons. Cluster flag and then installed. this one is going to be concussion impulse, impulse generators. Generator and so is this one. Right now, let's find a ship that is 14 million credits to buy and then destroy. Or 7 million, we can just buy too. Um, I don't see any. Okay, this ship is about 7 million, so. Oh, we can't buy them. Dang it. Alright. Almost 7 million ship. Come on, where are you? Or where's any ship that is the right price? Why are they not in stock? Okay, we can buy two of these and it'll work. Ship. Insufficient no. credits. Ship. Okay, so we just bought two centaurs. Um, orders follow me. Orders follow me. All right, we have selected it. So destroy. Centaur. H. Destroy. All right, so that was about the money that we just used for all those guns. Now we're going to be doing. Um, some heavier cannons, so let's look at those price. Um, here they are. Alright, so they're about a million, and we're going to be using, let me check. We're going to be using four of them, so four million. So, let's add them. Photon pulse cannon. And then buy a ship for four million and blow it up. Four million. Oh come on! There's only two million ones. All right, let's just do this Y wing twice. All right. Um. No. Orders follow me. Orders follow me. Y wing H destroy. Y Y wing H destroy. All right. So we did that. Um. Let's check our credits. 17 or almost 18 million okay now we have the front we have all these four now we just need the back um and down so let's do 10 rh8 laser cannons so let's see how expensive those are oh that's not the encyclopedia lasers rh8 laser cannon 700,000 all right so 700 7 million credits okay so Let's add those. Whoa, what happened to the music? It's all creepy and silent. Mass driver. Oh, oopsie doopsie. No. RH8. Let's get rid of it. Either. RH8. Alright, now it has installed on mass driver cannons, which you don't want, so let's eject those. Eject. Mass driver. And then we can just destroy those. Destroyed. All right, so now we got all the weapons. Now let's do the shields. Um, I think we can actually buy two here. Yep, they'll have two of them, but we need two more. So let's go here and then install equipment, install shields, install two gigajoule shields, two of them. Then that'll be 14 or million credits so let's go over here and buy something that's uh, 1.4 million credits this production nope I don't want to hear about this production forge blah 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 come on where are these things let's just do this Ship order. whatever I don't even know what I got what did I buy oh wait no what did I actually buy? This is our freighter. Landed ships. One. Oh, it's a B wing. In that. Is it in that? Um. Thing? I didn't see it. All right. Destroyed it. So then we can buy the rest of the shields here. 
Um, and then we got fight command software, right? We got like everything. Wait, no, Argon this thing. Equipment. We need this thing's freight, not my freight. Oh, we got nothing. That's where I go into the equipment dock. Duh. Well, they have jump drives here. Argon equipment dock. All right, stocked. Landed ships. I'm gonna be a star destroyer. Trade. All right. And we need to get two Giga Jewel shields, two and then, shield um, installed. I guess we'll get this. Eh, this yeah. Of your cargo bay will be extended by a super cargo right. bay extension. Engine and by you. Rudder All right. Boost. I'm just gonna buy everything, like. I have the credits. Or collector. Install navigation command. Patrol. Singular special supply. I think I need the supply command software, but whatever. Um, so there was no jump drives here, and we actually need some. Do you have any light defense? Yes, they do. Light defense missiles. Oh, those are blaster cannons. Nope. Don't need any of those. Light defense missiles. Here we go. You're gonna buy a lot of those. 250 should be good. Alright, so we are all set except for navigation. Um, except for a jump drive, and I paid a few extra hundred thousand credits for one of those ships I just bought, so I'll just add it. Um, so I lost even more money than I should have. Um, jump drive. Then on oh, my turrets. Actually, I'm gonna do that later. Um, so let's have it get away from the station a bit. All right, I want it to stand by Command now. Accepted. Do a freight exchange, give some energy cells, and we're gonna transfer the fighters over. Is it close enough? Nope. Come on. Right, this ship can dock 20 ships, so that's a pretty good amount if I don't say so myself. Um, oh, we actually have some ships to trade. So let's sell you. Oh no, actually, we'll sell this first 1.7 and 1.1 million. Okay. That's pretty good. We're gonna want to buy some. We're gonna buy some more. Y wings for Blade Squadron, so. Um, alright, let's do a advanced freight exchange. I want to give you all the missiles except for or all the energy cells, not the missiles. Actually going to give them all the missiles. Poltergeist missile. Remote um, warhead. We can keep the light defense. Um we'll keep those. Oh, we have 200 mega two shields on here. We need to sell those. Um. Alright. Oh no, I don't want to trade that. Alright, the rest is just guns, I think. Yep. Late blaster cannons. We still have 24 of those. We only need four or something. No, we'll actually. No, we'll get rid of those actually. We only need like six or less, so I'll just do six. Um. And then yeah, it should be good. So now let's have Blade Squadron dock at the Nebula class star destroyer. We'll see them launch. There they go. And then let's take our ship over. Advance, chain ship. Alright. Let's request for docking permission on the new Nebula class Star Destroyer. Request, request landing permission. Landing permission granted. It just got super laggy for some reason and started the docking. Right, entering the hangar bay. Um, coming in for the approach. You can see the shield generator bulbs on the sides there. I think that's what those are. That's some loud music. Slow down. A lot. Okay, we're good. So it slows down fast, I forgot. In the bay, so it's very laggy right now. Um. Oh, it's ahead. Didn't know where it was. A little green thing. All right, we are in the new vessel. Oh, we didn't get the main cannons. Oopsie doopsie. All right, advanced encyclopedia lasers. Wait, what is it? The ion cannons. Info. Uh, two main ion pulse generator. No ion cannon. Okay, just. Straight up iron cannon. Alright. H install equipment, install lasers, ion cannon. Oh, we can't. Nothing else. Alright, um, so we got our new ship here. 
with some heavy ion cannons. Wow. Oh, our starfighters are trying to dock. Probably shouldn't be moving the ship. Small brain moment. Sorry. What's that ship in us? Yes, it is. Right, he docked. That's kind of weird. Um, two of them, three of them are docked. Lagging. Still lagging. Continuously lagging. Wow. All right, all ships are docked. So yeah, um, we're ready for combat. Actually, no. Oh, it's lagging again. Okay. So um. We want to go here, and I forget the name I was going to use for this ship, so I'm just going to do it in the next episode. Alright, the front. The very front. Let's look. very front is... Okay. Um. Very front attack capitals only. The next one can attack enemies. Attack enemies. Enemies. Command accepted. Command All right, there we go. And then I think that's it. Or that's it. We are ready for some combat. All right, let's fire all the cannons. Um, here are the ion cannons. Firing. All right, and then we have these heavy cannons in the front. Take a while to shoot. And then we have some RH8 laser cannons, just like on that ship right there. Side cannons. That's an impulse generators, and then this side. And then the back. And the bottom. Alright. So, just like this ship, this one has to have energy when we shoot the weapons. And I think it's a stupid mechanic that you can't, like, upgrade it so it doesn't run out of energy. So I'm just gonna turn on unlimited energy. I think that's not an is issue in the... Star Wars Lit Cube mod, but um, I couldn't get that mod to install, so I have to because so I couldn't do a series on it. All right, so um, I think we're ready for some combat. One thing I want for this ship is a freighter that can pick up things for us. So let's look at the U-wing. Um, it's armed pretty well, but it's no cargo space. This cargo space is trash. All right, um, I think we can dock this ship. Um. What kind of ship is it? It's a TM. Let's see if our ship can dock TMs. Info. Where would it say that? Um, where would it say if it can dock TMs? Alright, um, let's just spawn the ship. Um, and see if it'll work. And then we'll actually buy it if we want. If we actually want it. Um, it's a TM and it's a Gazanti. I know these are well armed. And have a decent cargo bay. Commander Luke. Um, sure, why not? Alright, um, let's stop the ship. Where is this vessel? Here it is. Alright. Um, navigation. Dock at... Yes, it can dock. Alright. So, let's destroy that. Um, and we'll get... We'll get this... Gazanti. Let's see exactly how much cargo space. 10 million. Okay, yeah. For 10,000 cargo units, that's that's good. Alright, um, let's buy it. Um, it has 200 megajoule shields, I'm sure, so let's just get four of those. Um, upgrade this. Have maximum everything. On, go all the way up. Tuning's already done, and then get everything. We might even launch this ship for combat if we're fighting something. Or collector. Maybe we'll collect some more. I don't know. Just getting everything because it's easier and we have the money. Alright, um, let's get some light defense missiles. 100 should be good. And then, um, I think it can use blaster cannons, so they're cheap. I'll just get like 25. Um, let's just get 18. That should be good. Alright, now let's tell it to in dock at Nebula. Alright, now let's rename it. Let's, um, I'm going to use this as my personal ship, actually. So, um, let's call it 
Commander X Personal. How do you spell personal? How do you spell personal? Personal. I didn't get that. All right, so Commander Luke's personal Gazan curly Gazanti. Let's just call it Commander Luke's personal ship. Or transport. All right, there we go. All right, hurry up, Gazanti. I don't got all day. I'm gonna take this ship into combat when we're just attacking some fighters and basic things. Um, let's install the weapons. Oh, they do work. Great. And turrets attack my target. So that'll be good. And then once we capture a sector for ourselves, um, our Pelta here is going to be defending that sector, so that's why I'm not going to sell it. At least not right now. Um, come on, ship. Okay, let's go down. I want to get some combat in this episode. 20 minutes of just setting up a ship, which I know is boring. Whenever I'm watching a video of X3 and they're just setting up a ship, I usually skip it. Come on. You can go around a station, can't you? It's going to go forward a bit. Get out of the way of the station. There we go. It's accelerating now. Guys, I'm going to be back once we are getting into some combat. Alright guys, of labor. we've entered Circle of Labor and I didn't set that. Um, didn't set it up so all of these guys are our enemies. Wow. Alright, we are really fire. Um, someone just left his ship. And we still blew it up because we have heavy cannons and they didn't stop firing in time. Alright, um, we're just firing at some fighters right now. Really heavy cannon, so this let's target this guy. Oh, front cannons are getting them. Alright. Um, that's really loud, so let's just do that. Um, we are in this sector, so... Oh, I forgot to show you guys. We got the dynamic class. Oh, we didn't get a jump drive for it. Alright, can't jump to the sector, I guess. A decent amount of damage to me, which is actually kind of scary. Alright, so let's go through the gate to an actual Imperial sector. You guys notice that I'm in a capital ship and you're in spy, well, like, and that I'm in, they're in Starfighters and I'm in a capital ship. I'm gonna wreck you. Well, my face and you're dead, so be quiet. I think we get a thing where they know that they're gonna die and have some funny there. Alright, let's go through the gate. You're dead. Is anybody dropped out of their ship? Nope. Oh my, that's actually a lot of fighters. <laughs> Let's go, and a lot of loot. You are about to be very I see you on the other side. Let's go. We're barely big. We're barely like fit through the gate. Like we're so big. Our ship is massive. All right, can we go through the gate before we have some? Oh, let's save. Probably a good idea. Right. Um, because sometimes big ships going through gates that really they shouldn't be able to fit through. Oh, actually, we do fit. Okay. But only if we're in the middle. There we go. Target left firing range. Okay, we jumped out of the sector. Hundreds of kilometers away from them now. Probably hundreds of thousands. Maybe hundreds of millions. I don't know. I don't know how hyperspace in this works. Or really the time that it takes. Because sometimes you'll jump across the entire sector. I mean the entire universe. And it takes two seconds. Or it'll take as long as this is going to take. When you jump. This one second. I did. Okay. There are enemy vessels. Fighters right now, but there are some frigates up here. There's a Makana, which is a vanilla ship. And there's another vanilla ship. 
some stations. Um, we'll just jump into the sector. Something jump, jumped in up here. We, oh, I don't have the video enhancement goggles installed. Man. Don't say I didn't tell you so. All right. Okay. Is the range on these? Uh, dead. Um, range 16 kilometers. All right. Um, and how far away is he? Um, this cane is firing a really annoying. All right, full speed. Get us out of here. I don't. Just die. Oh really? Oh no, there's a missile closing. I'm so scared. Oh, katana, Corvette. We could actually, we could ab, ab oh my, I can't speak, we could obliterate Corvettes now. Are they running away? They are. Where are you guys going? Come on, I want to have some fun with my new big ship. Go away, I'm about to cheat. Use the cheats to get rid of these guys, they're so annoying. He's not in range of your cannons, I don't know why you guys are shooting. Some people just don't shut up. Go away. Alright, finally. Or not. I don't care if your shields are gone. Stop running away from me. I wanna have, I wanna fight you guys. Oh jeez, what the heck? Oh that's debris. We need to avoid that right now. Full thrusters. Okay, that was that wasn't good. Oh, there's a there's a rhymes fact, whatever that is, but it is in range. Yep, they're dire, I know, but see how much are these cannons do. Come on. Fire! These cannons did a ton of damage. But they're doing a ton of damage right here. Whatever. Um, let's use our main cannons on our ship. Why are these bad boys? The consequences of fire Terran authorities are now launching fighters. They have more Terran authorities are now launching fighters. They have orders to destroy. Come on, fire the heavy cannons. Aren't they firing? I hope you choke on my waste pipe. Oh my, stop shooting at that stupid fighter. There's an entire station in front of us to blow up. Alright, I'm just gonna use the cheats on him. We could wreck him, like, actually, but... He's just being annoying and taking up all the turrets. Attention. Alright, let's stop right here. Obliterate this station. Or maybe not obliterate, but... Do a lot of damage. Station. There's the damage I saw. Testing this out. This cannon shoot very slowly. But you can see the damage is worth it. Hold it, the down like that, and then fire, they do a ton of damage. Oh my. Damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Alright, um, do we have any missiles? Oh, we do. Oh, we have poltergeist missiles. To the ship. Oh man, it doesn't even poltergeist. Guys, missiles. Alright, um, this is taking forever. Alright, we did some damage to it. Let's move on, see if we can catch up to these guys. Maybe attack the Star Destroyer. Four two mega two shields. Oh, we actually have more shields. They have orders Terran authorities. The Star Destroyer. Oh, the frigate shooting. Oh my gosh. Ew. How do I turn on to turn off to destroy? Whoever that guy is. Show subtitles. I actually want that. And I don't want that on, and I don't want display announcements on already. Okay. No, I don't want to hear the cannons firing either. All right, full speed. Authorities are now launching fighters. They have Terran authorities. Oh, there's a 
There's a capital ship in this sector. That's not a Terran one. Or an Imperial. Or stop firing! Can you stop telling me that you're gonna blow me up? Alright, who's this guy? Whoa. Those Corvettes just jumped out of the sector. Oh, there are two. I think Boron. Um. Oh, we are in range of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Full fire, or all cannons open fire. Um, these are split ships, I think. There than in this sector. But we are going to raid this Star Destroyer. Destroy the Star Destroyer. But we should probably stop. Like, moving. Or actually go under him or something. Because we are going right at him. Dangerous. Oh, they are returning fire. Did not notice. Their shields are almost all the way down. Let's see if we can dodge some of that fire that they're firing. Cannons. These things are literally layered in heavy cannons. That are apparently undodgeable. Alright, do we have any missiles? Just these. Trash against. It's a Star Destroyer. Or literally anything. Some remote guided warheads. I don't know if you can actually take control of the remote guided warheads, but they're called guided warheads, so you should be able to. If our shields go down, we are going to be a sector. Um, because I do not. Well, my shields are about to go down. Right. Um. Let's move the ship and fire the ion cannons. Oh jeez, I don't know if I'm gonna hit him. Oh, I was about to. I might have. See if they do a lot of damage. Nope, they don't do that much. Alright. Shift J, out of here. Jump device charging at 10%. I mean, while we're here, I'll do more damage to this guy. It's really bright, jeez. Fire. Fire. Left I don't know what our shields are at, but that is going to conclude this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Star Wars content coming up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, okay. Not finishing the episode yet. There is a damaged Imperial Star Destroyer in this sector. Blow his face up. He is attacking some Argon, like Argon ships right here. GP-37, forget. He's attacking him. Oh, alright, um, we need to get in there right now. Take this guy out. Alright, I don't care if these little fighters are firing missiles. Leave me alone. Alright, how big is this missile? Show me the missile. I don't see a missile. Where? I don't... Oh, there it is. What kind of remote missile? Oh, remote guided warhead. Okay, yeah, might want to take that down. Fire. Fire anti-missile missiles. Okay, we got them. Full speed. Eight, whatever. Yes, it's a big missile. Yes, it is. Fire anti-missile missile. Ironic. We're firing missiles at missiles. Alright, just took out the guy with all the missiles. I was firing the heavy missiles at us. Alright, this frigate's actually doing a lot of damage. What? Wow. Damn it. Fire the heavy cannons. Heavy cannons, well, just impacted there. Got some more incoming. It's gonna miss. Yep, they are. Let's go. Actually, these cannons. Giving these guys some fire support, but not a lot. Cause he is getting obliterated as Corvette. Oh, not the shields are torn down. On heavy cannons. Let's change this. 
You attack my target, and you attack my target. Target is not some random fighter behind us that can't even do damage to me. We have the side cannons opening fire. That frigate was just destroyed. But we're going to finish this guy off. In the name of that frigate got destroyed. Or this Imperial Star Destroyer. Alright, what kind of missile? Cluster flag right, fire missiles. Cannon. Right now. Or oh, shields are down. I totally forgot. That we did not have a lot of shields. I hope you choke my waste pipe. Alright. We need to destroy this guy right now. Remote missiles guided fire. Warhead. Remote guided warhead damage. Um, we might need to jump out. Cluster flag array damage. This is not good. We're losing subsystems left and right. Come on. Are the heavy cannons firing? Take this guy out, come on. I hope you choke on my waste pipe. Go. In the name of that frigate that blew up trying to destroy him. Alright, I don't know if it was on camera or when I was just, you know, getting credits for the series, but there have been multiple of those DP-20, you no know, DP-37 frigates that have tried to engage Star Destroyers. Like, do they not have any MC-80s to throw in here? I see at least two of these, like, Nebulon-class Star Destroyers in Argon Sector m 148 I think they could spare one of them. Alright, um, we took some damage, some fall damage, but... Oh! Sweet, we just got a ship. Um, I guess I'll claim that and get them on our ship. But we're going to be ending the episode here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Star Wars content coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.